Go to www.veiltun.net slash download.html to download the firmware and software. Download the firmware appropriate for your multi-effect and unzip the files. Download the software and unzip the files. Click the wrench to navigate to the firmware update section. Click on firmware update. Click the folder to navigate to the firmware you downloaded and unzipped. Click the new firmware file once and then click open. Click update now. Note, make sure you back up your presets and screenshots of any configurations that you have customized. If you have performed your backups or don't need to, click continue. Click continue. You should see the firmware loading. Once the firmware has finished loading the GP200 unit will reboot. Navigate to the software files previously downloaded, unzipped, and double-click the executable to start the install. Click Next. Click I agree. Click Next. Click Install. The new software should then install. Click Finish. With your GP200 unit on and connected to your computer, you should be able to start the new software and take advantage of the new features of this upgrade. The new feature of 1.7.4 is the ability to import NAM profiles. 5 slots under DST and 5 slots under AMPS. If you need some NAM profiles, Tone3000.com is a great resource. You can filter for the NAM files you are interested in. I downloaded the JHS Andy Timmons pedal, just to try it out. For amps, I downloaded three NAM files from one of my favorite guitarists, Leon Todd. The key to importing the NAM files on a Windows machine, is to run the GP200 software as an administrator. So, make sure you right-click the GP200 file and click Run as Administrator. To import a NAM pedal profile, click on DST, scroll to the bottom of the pedal list and right-click on the slot you want to import to. Click Import.NAM file. Navigate to the NAM file, click on it once and then click Open. Here you can choose the slot you want to import to, and you can also change the name of the pedal. I renamed mine to JHS-AT and then clicked Load. Click Load. The profile should start loading. Under the GP200 process, I could see the import and loading process is running. The CPU increased during the importing process, which makes sense. When the import completes, you can click OK. The process for importing the AMP NAM file is very similar, you just click on AMP, select the slot you want to import to and right click it. Click import.nam file. Navigate to the NAM file, click on it once and then click open. Here you can choose the slot you want to import to, 
and you can also change the name of the amp. Click Load when you are ready. Click Load. The profile should start loading. When the import completes, you can click OK.